If you want to learn how to customize your iPhone into an aesthetic dream, you can just keep on watching this video. Bullet gun. Bullet gun. Hey guys, welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome back to my channel. So, hindi na tayo magpapatupik tupik pa. Kung gusto mong matuto kung paano makustomize ang iPhone mo using shortcuts and Will Smith. Paano namin matuto? Just continue watching this video. But, if you're just here for the freebies, that's fine too. You can access it down below in the description box. It's completely free. It's around 150 icons, widgets, and backgrounds. So, you're welcome. So, if you like them and you decide to use them, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Wow, YouTuber. Chaka, subscribe ka na din kasi ni like mo na eh. Di mag subscribe ka na din. And I'll be putting timestamps down below. And I'll be putting timestamps down below if you're only interested in certain areas of this tutorial. So let's begin! Wow! I record ko sa nang walang dumadaan na motor. Nice. So una sa lahat, before we start the customization process, you have to make sure na yung iOS mo is iOS 14. So for you to check that, you have to go to settings. Go to general and software update. So, kung makikita nyo dito sa screen ko, it's already the updated version. It doesn't have to be the most recent update, but you do need the iOS 14 for you to be able to customize your phone. Okay, next step is how to change your icons into aesthetic photos. So, Kung makikita mo yung screen ko ngayon, I have Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger. So, hindi ko pa napapalitan yung mga icons nila. So, gawin natin siya ngayon. So, you go to the Shortcuts app. This is an app that is already on your phone. And then, you click on the plus button on the upper right side. You click on Add Action. You click on Scripting. Open App. And you choose kung ano app yung kailangan mo. So I'm gonna choose Instagram. Choose Instagram. So I search for lang. So ang susunod na step would be to click on yung tatlong dots na nasa upper right area. Shortcut name is Instagram. Next step is to click on Add to Home screen. So, makikita mo sa taas, may nakalagay na preview. Yun yung kakalabasan niya sa home screen mo. So, kailangan mong palitan yung pangalan and to Instagram. Click on the icon and choose photo. Races. So, ito, makikita nyo, I made a custom icon for Instagram. So, I'm gonna choose that. I'm gonna add that. Then, done. So, tapos na yun. So, if you could see sa may lower left area, nakalagay na yung Instagram. But, makikita mo, nandito pa din yung Instagram na main icon niya. You're not going to delete the app. Kasi pag delete mo yung app, hindi mo na siya ma-access. Kasi nga, shortcut lang yung ginawa natin. So, what you're gonna do is hold on the app. Edit home screen. And then you press the minus button and then remove from home screen. So, ang mangyayari sa kanya is matatago lang siya basically. You can still search for Instagram and you can still access it on the rightmost area of your phone. Pero, hindi mo na siya makikita dun sa home screen mo. So, wala na siya nung eyesore na yun. And there, Instagram is there. Ang alam ko, pwede nga magpicture eh. Subukan natin na. Shortcuts. Pwedeng take photo. So, gawin natin na. <laughs> so, <laughs> mukha po na yung messenger. You have your own icon of your face. Isn't that nice? 
<laughs> so, okay then. Sa ilalim. Yung icon ng messenger is my face. <laughs> okay, delete ko na to. So, mapangit. Delete po. Wala na siya. So, one thing that I have to note din lang is when you um, make shortcuts, ang mangyayari sa kanya, when you click on a shortcut, sabihin natin yung Instagram, may kaklik po. Ang mangyayari is that may maliit na banner na lalabas sa may taas na part saying na yung Instagram app was opened through a shortcut. So, super quick lang siya, millisecond. So, hindi mo naman siya mapapansin once you get used to it. For some people, anong nangyari is when they click on the app, pupunta muna siya sa shortcuts page and then pupunta siya sa app. Pero yun nga, very quick lang. So, hindi naman siya super hassle. Also, another note pala, some people will see it as a pro, some people will see it as a con. But, you actually don't get to see new notification buttons on the upper right side of the apps that you make shortcuts to. So if you get a message, walang lalabas ng red na dot na may number and so that's not gonna pop up when you're using um, shortcut. But you can still edit your settings. Nalalabas yung mga notification banners on your phone. Para makikita mo pa din yung notifications mo. Although, hindi nga siya lalabas sa home screen. For me, it's not much of a big deal because I don't really use notification buttons anyway. Um, I feel like they do distract me from my work for the day and it's nicer to see this home screen without that red dot that makes you feel na kailangan mo na siyang tingnan niya, alam yan. If that doesn't bother you in any way, then you can use the shortcuts to customize your iPhone. So for the next step of adding the widgets, you have to download a free app. It's called Widgetsmith. You can look for it in the App Store. And this is what it looks like. So of course, I already have mine. So let's open that, Widgetsmith. So there are small widgets, there are medium widgets, and there are large widgets. So, pakita ko lang yung small widgets. Ang example nito would be the calendar that you see in this page right here. The large widget is this specific quote on the bottom of the page. A medium widget is yung face na nakikita nyo sa taas. So, for example, if you want to add a photo of a loved one or maybe a code or for example, the free widgets that I gave you. So, just pick which widget you want to use. I'm gonna go for the large widget, so add large widget, click on the widget, and click it again. So, makikita mo dito, madaming choices na pwede kang pagpilian. So, this is for time, this is for the date. So, ito, photos. So, let's try photos for now. Photo. And then, you click on selected photo and choose photo. So I'm gonna add this widget that I made and then go back. Save. Okay. Nirename ko lang siya kasi magkapangalan silang dalawa. So, ang pangalan niya is large number four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold sa kahit anong app, edit home screen. And then, dito ko gusto ang ilagay yung um, bago ko na widget. So, plus, search for widget smith. So, gusto ko ay large widget. So, add widget. So, ayan, lumabas na dito sa page yung widget na dinagdag ko. But, if I want to change it, what I'm gonna do is hold this, edit widget, and then you change it for the other two choices. So for example, large two. Yan. Mapapalit na siya. But of course, I want to use yung dinagdag ko. So edit widget. Large four. There it is. So for example, gusto ko bang lagay ng widget na existing so widget smith. So what I'm going to do is go to widget smith. Maglagay tayo ng small widget. Click mo yun, click mo ulit. And then, ano ba gusto ko? 
Ito na lang. Um, lagay natin yung week 15. Ayan. So, ito na yung type of widget na lalabas. But I want to change yung look niya. Hindi ako nagagandahan. And hindi siya bagay dun sa aesthetic no. Hindi siya bagay dun sa aesthetic no um, home screen natin. So, let's change it. So, customize natin siya. So, let's change the font. This one. Something sleek. New York. Then color. Actually happy with white. Background color. I think the cream is really nice in the pale pink. So I'm gonna go with cream. Then save. Save. So makita mo small number to yung pangalan niya. So we can add it by holding any app and then edit home screen and widget smith. Small widget, so yun yun. So since hindi ito yung gusto natin, we're gonna click on the specific widget. And then yung small number one, pinitin mo siya. Palitan natin ng small number two. And then there you have it. May bago na akong page on my home screen. So what I could do is I I could add to this page. Pwede dito yung mga social media ko. So for Facebook and Instagram dito sila. And that's gonna look really really nice. So you can play around with it. You can use Widget Smith to add different types of widget and then edit the shortcuts for you to be able to customize your icons. And that's it. That's all it. I actually forgot to tell you that if you are interested in other themes, I do have a small business where you can buy icons with free widgets and backgrounds. So you can check those out in the link below. And if you are Filipino, when you purchase a product, you can shoot me a message so I can give you the additional Philippine app icons for free. Yun lang. Thank you. Again, if you want to be able to access the free icons, backgrounds, widgets that um, I did, you can access it down below in the description box. If you do have questions about it, you can comment it down below and I will try my best to answer every single question that you have. And yes, but I know the and and I'm not the So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you didn't tune in kayo and goodbye. Stay safe. Drink your vitamins and stay. Bye.